Okay, big miracle. You've got a reporter who's kind of in Alaska for his last couple of days. Finds out that there's a woman from Greenpeace who's trying to help three trap the whales. Initially, the local Inuits want to pretty much kill them because they kill and eat whale. And the whales are trapped. Instead, they begin to do this undeniably super elaborate process of cutting holes in the ice so that way the whales know which direction to go to try to get their way out to, to the major bodies of water. So a lot of time is spent outside in temperatures that they say are like, you know, minus 50. However, people are normally not really dressed for that sort of weather. I've got one big complaint. It's, it's, ironically, it's that. Now, I talk about how the water is you know, it's flowing, but it's freezing. So someone decides to go down there in a scuba suit with a fully exposed face. And then come out, and they're fine for a few minutes to talk while they're being, you know, changed. As opposed to coming out of the freezing cold water with an exposed face being wet and minus 50 degrees with a wind chill. So they didn't do a great job when it came to actually having it look like it's actually that cold outside. The story itself is a unique and touching story. It isn't is inspired by a true story, so that means you probably did have whales that were stuck, you probably did have an evil oil company that was going to do horrible things to the area. So you get a lot of you know, the the Greenpeace person and how, you know, everything she's doing is so wonderful and great. She's making all this money and it's going to go to Greenpeace. While at the exact same time, the oil company is investing millions and millions of dollars, but they're still horrible people, even though they're the ones who are actually making this process happen. It's a good movie. The relationship between uh, Drew Barrymore and uh, Cranston is pretty decent. It does actually it does actually seem like it would make sense. So if you want to see whales stuck in ice for about two hours with people kind of dueling over, trying to have a much better newscaster career, while at the same time they really drill down the idea that you know, Greenpeace is the answer to almost everything, and that a large corporation is horrible and trying to destroy everything, Big Miracle is a movie for you.